Right, like more people right now are embracing it as a viable option mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, alternative jobs, especially for, as you said, young mothers or um, individuals who want more flexibility. So with that, thank you very much for your thoughts, Amy, and, uh, you know, I look forward to um, those regulations that will help protect the rights of freelance workers. Thank you also for inviting me and for the opportunity to share. The number of Filipinos having gigs or short-term freelance work has The number of Filipinos having gigs or short-term freelance The number of Filipinos having gigs or short-term freelance work has been increasing due to numerous factors. These include the growing use of digital platforms since the pandemic, the potential to earn higher income, and for some, the added freedom and flexibility that comes with not having a full-time job. According to the Philippines Freelancer Market White Paper, 55% of Filipino freelancers are between the ages of 21 to 35 years old, although Filipinos aged 36 to 45 years old also account for a sizable portion of freelancers at 28%. 35% of Pinoy freelancers are content creators and they distribute their work on social media platforms. Because of Filipinos' high English proficiency, low cost, and hardworking attitude, they also successfully get freelance work from employees located overseas. And those who successfully tap foreign employers earn more than those who are solely focused on local gigs. Employers also benefit from hiring freelance workers who they might only need to complete certain projects for a limited amount of time. The local economy also benefits from the growth in the gig economy as this helps local consumer spending stay resilient and even grow despite the negative impact of rising inflation. However, there are also some drawbacks. Most workers focused on gigs have no job security. They also don't enjoy company-sponsored benefits. Because of this, Filipinos who are focused on freelance work need to manage their finances more carefully so that they can stay protected in case they suffer from a dry spell or encounter emergencies. Freelance workers can also be abused since the ability of regulators to validate the legitimacy of employers is limited. The absence of social interaction with fellow employees might also take a toll on Filipinos who work on gigs. Going forward, it will be interesting to see how the gig economy evolves. What is certain, though, is that the gig economy will stay and continue to grow, given its numerous benefits. Because of this, finding ways to protect freelance workers is something that everyone should seriously think of. Before we wrap up the show, we leave you with a quote from American...